Phil. Thanks very much, delegates. Good evening. <laughs> and welcome to Ireland South. Um, I'm delighted to be here in, in Killarney this evening, and uh, I too would like to extend the uh, best wishes of our members to uh, our good friend Jimmy Hart, a true gentleman. Since the party was formed over 101 years ago in Clonmel, it has proved its tenacity. We've been knocked and pilloried, but we always come back fighting. Our future really does hinge on uh, improvement in our economy, and we've seen the CSO figures that um, have shown unemployment at its lowest since the autumn of 2009, which is good news. With 1,200 jobs being created a week, that's also good news for us, and uh, despite the emigration, um, it's, it's uh, certainly positive. As a member of the European Parliament, I am acutely aware, as many of you have been since the onset of the financial crisis, of the, Euro uh, the global and European nature of all the systemic weaknesses in governance that, and regulations that led us to the brink of this uh, disaster. And that's why our reaction to the crisis was uh, shaped in Europe to such a dramatic extent. It's also why a strong focus on cooperation with our progressive European partners is as critical now as ever before to a sustainable and a deliverable recovery. Our European trade happens mostly within the continent's um, own internal borders, and the Conservative majority in Europe expects us to bank heavily and exclusively on cutting consumption at home to export abroad. Many mistakes have thus been made as we navigate through the uncharted territory of the first systemic crisis our incomplete economic and monetary union has been struggling with. And many of those were pushed through by a European conservative majority against progressive advice. However, after much foot dragging, we see that hard reality has been forcing some corrections that bear the imprint of the European left. So the labor does work. In all honesty, fighting a conservative majority has forced us really into a long and frustrating damage control struggle for the welfare of our citizens. But we've proved that the most cohesive force in Europe is the progressive left, left and the legacy of social de democrats and labor to the European project shows that we can shape it and put it to the service of our citizens. Um, we, we have to close ranks on our European allies to change the wider picture, of course, um, because for us it's not about competing national interests. Um, it's about the interests and welfare of those who must work to eke out a livelihood versus the interests who rely on financial profit to enrich themselves at the expense of the real productive economy. As you probably know now, the New Ireland South constituency not only includes all of Munster, but also Kilkenny, Carlow, Wexford and Wicklow, and not forgetting Clare. And I thought I might wear something to uh, encompass all of the counties, but the clash would be worse than a Tipperary versus Kilkenny match, uh, and I'm already in trouble about that. Um, it's, uh, it's going to require a huge amount of uh, work and travel. Uh, from Bray to Dingle, for instance, is a staggering 368 kilometres. And after May, there will be four MEPs in Ireland South, which will mean greater competition. But you know what? Um, whether they run very well-known names uh, against me, whether that's Nessa or Sean Gallagher or Declan Gallagher, bring them on. We're up for a fight. Let's do it. Thank you so much for the honour of addressing conference. Thank you.